the DVR has alarm inputs. These can act as a switch to activate the DVR to start recording once the input has been triggered. In the example above, this device has four alarm inputs and two common inputs. These are dry contact. The software of the DVR can set these inputs to either behave as normally open or normally closed. In this diagram, alarm input number one is set up as a normally closed circuit. It's only when the circuit is broken or open that it triggers the alarm input. In the context of the DVR, once the circuit changes its state from a normally closed to normally open, it will trigger the alarm input of the DVR. In this diagram, alarm input number one is set up as a normally open circuit. It's only when the circuit is closed that it triggers the alarm input. In the context of the DVR, once the circuit changes its state from a normally open to normally closed, it will trigger the alarm input of the DVR. Use the right mouse button to access the menu and select System. Select the event icon. Once selected, choose Alarm on the left-hand side of the screen. Select the alarm input for which alarm needs to be applied to. The number of alarm inputs is dependent on the model of the DVR and can range from 4 alarm inputs to 16 inputs. Enable activates the alarm input. If this option is not checked, the alarm input will not work. Log will create a log whenever the alarm is triggered. Pre-alarm record will enable this camera to record video 5 seconds before the alarm event occurs. The input type refers to the alarm input. As mentioned previously, this can be set to normally open, referred to as NO, and normally closed, referred to as NC. The record option refers to which camera will be recording the video. Clicking on this will bring up another pop-up window, which is shown after this screenshot. Once the record option is selected, the following pop-up window is displayed. Each number refers to a camera. A user has the option of selecting one or more cameras to start recording once the alarm input is triggered. Select All can be used to select all cameras. Clear All can be used to remove all the selected cameras. Once the selection has been made, the OK button can be used to save settings. The main monitor or call monitor can be set up to go full screen when an alarm input is triggered. The active camera must be selected. This will be the camera that will go into full screen. The save option can be used to save settings. Apply to can be used to apply the current settings to other alarm inputs. After completing the settings, exit out of the menu. Once the alarm is triggered, a symbol will be visible on the camera that is recording the alarm trigger, as well as on the lower left-hand corner of the screen.
Thank you for watching. Remember to check out our other how-to videos through the EverFocus website or YouTube channel.